<laughs> we are coming live again. <laughs> Give me a short moment. So, doing that. So, so. Hello and welcome everyone again to another My Colonies Let's Play with the Developers episode. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of the Mine Colonies mod. Um, we're streaming usually around this time, so that is around 8.40 UTC, around 5-6 times a week. Um, we recently decided to switch to Twitch and are currently enjoying the community here so nice to have everyone here um, in the last episode we finished a bunch of things including uh, some citizen hats and new delivery men so you can see all the kids having fun here in the warehouse those are the new kids in our colony uh, we got a bunch of people employed as well including the plantation worker and having currently a builder building the composter behind here which is relatively soon going to take shape in this video as well um, besides that we clicked upgrade on our enchanter since we had a bunch of books we got early in the last episode so that should also help us quite nicely um, okay there we go um, let us now check out what our two builders are currently up to and what Jennifer is doing right now right away polished diorite I think that was the one material I didn't have no and decided I didn't have diorite I had um, I've spent a lot of time coding the Vikings update today and basically the only thing left for us right now is to clean up some of the Viking models that are not perfectly fine yet but that's basically all we need to finish the Viking update that are going to come in two modes the Vikings are going to be the first raider type that actually might raid you with a ship or by land depending on your position in the biome okay let me see 14 polished diorite so 14 so 16 is definitely going to be enough for her and then we can check out what Barnaby has been up to as well Oh, that's Barracks to our level 5, so she will soon need the remaining ones too for the next Barracks Tower level 5. Uh, let me sign this here quickly. Um, so, I fixed some minor bugs today as well. And as far as I heard, the build system is going to be up tomorrow again, so you can expect more regular updates starting uh, this week again finally um i wanted to bring wait i'm a bit distracted again i wanted to go not to the farmer um to the ah yes i wanted to sign some of our new citizens to the barracks so 
Got four assigned to that. We got four assigned to that. That's quite neat. See, is our. Ah, here. Higher one. Let's level four tower. Ah, so only one. With intelligence 12, so that one grew up quite nicely. Quite the intelligent boy we got for our own colony there. Okay. Um, now let's check out what Barnaby has been up to. So. <laughs> um, while the rework is like a big part of the rework with the of the code for the Vikings is actually to abstract the code we're using for these kinds of workers like the the Vikings and uh, workers the Raiders like the Vikings and pirates that need ships so that it's in the future way easier for us to eat, add new mobs with raiders so that we could add all kinds of different ones like ones with uh, like ninjas coming on an As asian ship or something like that would then be fairly possible and Hysam Adams, one of the, our other developers just came online as well okay ouch <laughs> yeah, yesterday I was very successful. We didn't have a crash, uh, be besides my microphone. We didn't have a crash, and I didn't fall in any ravine, Irish Jeff. So that was a definitely a plus, and I'd say I'm learning. Even though slow, I'm learning that there are holes in the ground I shouldn't fall into. Mm. And in modern society where these kinds of holes are less common, we're learning our abilities to deal with these natural hazards. <laughs> Good thing we don't have to... Yeah, yeah, don't, and don't, I'm not going to change it, you're right. Just going to see, there's going to be a bar barbarian raid and I'm going to fall in twice. Just to make up for the, for the chokes. And for not falling into it in the last time. So. so everyone is heading off here and I'm going to check out what our builder Jennifer needs right now. So she seems happy here. Yeah, Jennifer is happy. She needs a few more things, but most of these things should be in the warehouse. Talking about that, I should probably get some more sand and stuff um, here yeah putting away some of the things here so that I got a clean inventory to gather some more sands for our worker sands sand for our workers put the plurality wrong word it sounds stupid so, uh, I'm looking, wait, what am I looking for? Okay, sticks. Here are the sticks. And cobblestone. That must be all over the place. No, that not. Neither. Cobble. Where are you? Upstairs? It is still a little bit of a pain to navigate. Ah, here. There we go. So I'm going to make a bunch of 3x3 three three shovels and then we can go s dig some sand. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need a few more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We get some more sticks. Does I remember where? Somewhere here on the other side. Here. Getting more of those. 
One, two, three, four, five. So I need four. There we go. So. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Captain Sound. Uh, yes, you've you've been very successful in keeping us busy, responding to your issues today. Uh, that you've been certainly very successful with. So, we're going to go to our sand mine here. Okay. You can see this huge hole. We're going to go probably out and bit in this direction. Ah, here's the food. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you go out mining? Um, sand mining. Not Maybe you can bring some iron along? Nope, there is no iron here, I believe. Are we out of iron again? So you can find some. Are we out of iron again? I don't believe it. Yes, we... Uh, well, I built some more ways. So... Oh, I, I do definitely do not know which workers have which uh, skills out of the head either so i won't be able to help you with that iris yeah i also have to always check out what skills which worker needs also because we only recently reworked the system so it's a little bit new for me as well probably over the next years i'm going to get used to it and i'm going to know which workers have which skills more or less um Okay, that picking up is not working fine. Um, so, uh, we got a developer working on a quarry and I'm th more and more thinking that this is definitely going to be necessary. Not the quarry itself, but one of the part of the things he's going to implement is allowing to assign multiple builders to a miner, to a mine. And then each miner would basically work on one Y level, so they don't have like conflicts of interest in working. And that will definitely be very useful because I'm noticing that one miner in a mi in a major colony is definitely not taking care of the things we need. That's definitely not enough. So. Um, I noticed that we're getting close to 100 sus subscribers on Twitch. I think it was like 49 when I last checked. So if you enjoy our streams, do not forget to follow. And if you don't enjoy, follow anyway. <laughs> you, you will get used to it. Um, and eventually you're going to ask, how did I ever live without mine colonies in Minecraft? Because this mod definitely gives you an entirely new perspective to play around in the game. It's like an another game, honestly. So, getting some more of this. Um, uh, wolves might be more for a specific type of guard. I wouldn't like the guards generically being allowed to have wolves. I think that wouldn't fit very well either. But having like a, a guard type that has a pack of wolves is definitely something I would be able to see. Um, we had also often the discussion of having a hunter worker again and having then certain things like boars for example that mess up your farm and you need a hunter worker to take care of those boars and 
If that there are no boars around, the hunter worker would also walk around with a pack of wolves taking care of um, th uh, general threats to your colony. That would probably be a pretty neat mechanic as well. But yeah, we definitely, one of these things we're definitely going to work on, especially next year, is going to be all the combat mechanics. And that will include then things like having different kinds of uh, fighter types. Like at the moment we got melee guards and archers, but I could imagine having another level of archers, archers that use crossbows and archers that use normal bows. Having different weapons for melee as well, like a spear type guard and a um, sword type guard that are good for different kinds of things. Then having archers, mounted archers and mounted guards and all these kinds of things is definitely something that would be probably on the list for next, next year when we then going to work more on the combat mechanics of mine colonies. This year is all... This last year was the year of general finishing of the colony stuff. This year is the year of crafters. So we're going to finish the all the crafter workers and then start some other new neat new things. And next year is then going to be probably a stronger focus on combat mechanics and these kinds of things. Okay. And intercolony things like trading, kingdoms, claims, all these kinds of things would be then involved into that. And bug fixes is always we it's always time for bug fixes. But we have a development cycle which is very flexible and the general idea I always have is like um, add some new features, roll them out and then fix the new the bugs of the old features while they come in and not spend too much time on testing and all these kinds of things because that also the community can do and we spend a lot of time with it. And often are not, since we know them on, do not find the same bugs as the community can. So, like, I easily spend sometimes an entire weekend only debugging one bug. So, I could have coded two new workers in the same time. Um, can you sleep some addons? Yeah. <laughs> having the pirate uh, definitely a neat idea though but that would be we could spawn a pirate on a ship that would be actually super easy barely an inconvenience but having actual pirates do something would be more difficult like just scanning in a parrot would on the instant paste option also make it work that's just not a problem at all but making a parrot that actually flies around together with the pirate captain and that would be much more challenging to do so One. Getting some more of those crafted. Uh, definitely something. Uh, if we have like the moment we see it's like if we have a better miner. It is going to be much easier to get a lot more cobblestone. And if we have a lot more cobblestone, we do not have to worry about getting a crusher, for example. So there are so many things that depend on easy game mechanics, like getting sand is kind of pain with a desert colony we're noticing. But if we had a miner for that, 
that just mines us a lot of cobblestone. We could simply get a crusher that takes care of that for us very easily. So. Want me to build another mine? Nah, they usually get into each other's ways. But you can tell which one. Um, it also didn't help that our miners died fairly often. Our worker that dies the most, I think, after guards are miners. So that also influenced our problem a lot. We don't have so much cobble in our warehouse, I have to say. Probably because our miner dies more often than actually dumping the stacks of um, cobblestone she gathers. Uh -huh. We do have 6,000 cobblestone in our warehouse. Oh, that's a decent amount. <laughs> but how, how much is this? 6,000? That's like uh, 100 stacks. It's not that bad. It's like three inventories full. But if you then count three inventories full of cobble, and if we want one inventory full of sand, which is just what I got in a few minutes right now, all the cobble is gone already. If yeah, you. If you need that, that much sand? Yeah, if you know, but like if you need the amount of sand we need, I mean. Like I'm get, like an inventory full of sand is only a little bit of sandstone, unfortunately. Yeah, we need sandstone, not sand. We could build a miner somewhere where we get sandstone. Fairly difficult, I think. It's because uh, we would have to have the miner like work on that highest level. Or second highest, yeah. Yeah. And I think it would still be a lot more cobblestone than anything else. Minecraft should just put more sandstone in the layer. <laughs> uh, I think Minecraft itself already does a lot of sandstone. I think we got some um, biome mods which reduce it. Ah, uh, that's possible too. Um, Yes, the miner bil first digs down completely and after it achieves the maximum level it can reach, only then the miner goes horizontally. So you can tell the miner as much as you want to go horizontally. If she didn't finish her vertical shaft, the miner is not going to do anything before that is done, basically. Okay. I think we're almost finished and my shovel is almost gone which is always the signal the sign that I'm ready to leave again. Okay, there we go. Pick up all the sand. So almost the shovel, yes, now it broke. Gather around the last of the sand here. So. Okay. Okay, now we can go back. Now the tedious <laughs> sand mining stopped actually. Okay. Jump. Okay. Um, I was having a lot of fun the entire day with C++ as well, which I have to do for a university project and I'm so bothered by this language, <laughs> so, so bothered that everyone who knows me at least got five messages already about how bothered I am about dealing with C++ libraries. And now I'm bothering all of you as well 
C++ library, libraries. Who, who designed this? Seriously, who designed this? Like on Java, you got those nice Gradle and Maven repositories and it's like super easy to get libraries working and running. Uh, in JavaScript, you got NPM, which works super fine as well. In Ruby, you got something that is super comfortable as well. But all the other things can get so tedious, it's incredible. Yes, I saw that already, but I didn't get on doing a few things today yet. I also had downloaded this world here to debug some of the warehouse issues we have, but I didn't get to that either yet. A very C++ heavy morning. <laughs> and then I coded the barbarians in the afternoon. So during this week, I'm going then to work a lot more on the C++ stuff and we're going to debug some of these issues as well. Okay, a little bit of this and a little bit of those. There we go. And dump that in a the warehouse. There we go. Great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will find more. <laughs> um, so always make sure before reporting bugs, please to check if you're on the newest Mind Colonies version. We update fairly often. So a lot of the bugs you might be reporting might be fixed already. Like I'm not joking if I'm saying that around 90% of the issues that are created on our repository and people complain about in our Discord were fixed already in the newest version. And so people could easily just search in the issue engine on GitHub about the keywords and usually Git even just suggests it. So that if you report something, please check that out and check the solution we provided uh, because that saves us a lot of time. And the more time we have, the more time we can spend on coding that mod and not answering the same question over and over and over and over again. <laughs> So, Barnaby, I guess you got into a tight situation here. <laughs> God. <laughs> I can fix it, right? <laughs> That's not the way you should fix that. <laughs> um, okay. No, def definitely not. Definitely not. Um, I heard some add-ons told me he wanted to w rework the stack handling of workers so that this yeah. is not a problem anymore. He, he told me that m two months ago. Oh, it's a still in my queue. <laughs> First, I'm doing the and stuff next. Then how is that? How I'm is that? Status icons. How are then I might do the stack handling. How is the tavern stuff going, by the way? Mm, I've got some visitors um, arriving, but uh, they aren't closing yet nicely. Mm. But they are existing already. <laughs> so soon we can have uh, traders and other NPCs show up at pizza time. Yeah, nice. Your PRs have gotten shorter. <laughs> no, not shorter, more rare. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do much last week. Yes, the up the fix for the sleep notification is already merged as well. And we're going to update that that this week here definitely. Like I said, 90% of the reported issues were fixed already. <laughs> Even the the issues people report on stream 
yeah, we we don't. But um, like I said, at least Tuesday, if not most likely tomorrow, our Maven is our hosted Maven is going to be online again, and you should not get any 404 issues anymore. Um, what kind of 404 issue are you getting? Are you getting a 404 issue with the structurize or with another problem? Ow. Yeah, failed parkour. So. Uh, super efficient fisherman here. Um, you can just download structurize from Curse and put it into a lips folder like you put in the in the um, origin folder of your library you or if of the mine colonies library you put a lips folder libs and inside the lips folder you put the structurized version that is um, and then that w is going to work magically already that's what all our developers are doing as a temporary workaround at the moment. Oh, we don't have a Fletcher at the moment. Did our Fletcher die again? Or did you fire him? We do have this worker here. Oh, yeah, I think I fired Fletcher. <laughs> so... Jenny is also is, is ah she finished the next guard tower and is now in the next barracks tower level five. Yeah, yes. Doing ah nice. Yeah, this city is getting enormous. And we're still kind of like far away from <laughs> finishing everything. Although we are getting finally closer. We don't have a chicken head yet. No, we we are missing half of the herders. We don't have a chicken nor a swine herder. Um, ah, Barnaby started a guard tower too. Um, let me check on our research how that is going. We got faint here still researching. Um, can we hire? No, we don't have. The next citizen. Ah, our Hamlet. Our next. Citizen cap is upgrade is going to be finished every minute now basically So This time we thought we were smarter the first time for the people who were watching these streams Since we're on YouTube we upgraded all our city and we didn't have a university So we had to fire a lot of people and reassign them at places and build a university and research the citizen cap upgrade at 25. So that this time I made sure that before we reach the next uh, quantity, we have the next upgrade. We had 46 already. So 50 is just around the corner. So that's like finishing at just the right moment, I would say. Yeah, and last time after finishing the, 20, the 50 research, don't remind me don't remind me yes and we finished the research we're like yay we can have more than 25 citizens and then we had an enormous raid killing half of our colony and then just every time we were covered to close to 25 all of them were killed again so let's hope that it's not a bad omen let's not jinx it so we didn't have a pirate raid in a while. We didn't have a pirate raid in a while. That is absolutely true. That's why I'm saying don't jinx it. So I'm going to click the next upgrade on the library too. I'm going to jump down here a little ouch bit. How is our plantation worker by the way? Thomas? Yeah, what are you working on? Um, yes. So our school 
It's full of ouch, children. Uh, I have to upgrade the plantation as well while I'm on it. We definitely need much more sugarcane places in this plantation to make that more efficient. So. Hop. There we go. Um, we have to go into... Is Jenny needing something? Doesn't seem like it. So we can check out Barnaby. Oh, finished the next car. Barracks Tower, that's fine. Barracks Towers are like so convenient to build. Other things like, oh, those are going to build fast. <laughs> I'm going to push the Citizen Hut upgrades up here. And the Delivery Man upgrade too. Okay. What problem with journey map are you talking about? Problems with journey? I don't think I have problems with journey map. That's one of the few mods I don't think I have problems with. Oh yes, but that is, I would guess, maybe because of Optifine, but I'm not entirely sure about that. But yes, I can't see the name tags on journey map. Now that you told me, I'm noticing that those are probably... Not sure if those are name tags though. Ah, probably, like there, here. No, I'm, I'm not sure those are name tags actually. Those black places over the map. Kind of weird, definitely. This is the next researcher. Ah, resource pack, so that's entirely possible too. I'm using the Firewolf mod pack, so that might be causing that issue. A mod pack, um, texture pack. Ryan is our next researcher. Great. There you go, Ryan. So I can then now think what I'm going to research next, actually. Um, I think I'm going to uh, Combat Academy 3. We don't have that. Artillery level 3, neither. Um, and we don't have iron ingots, you said, right? We need 10 or so, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of not good. Um, let me dump some of these things in the warehouse and I'm going to get some mining equipment and I'm going to go mining a little bit a bit cave exploring so I'm caving caving so and you take care of the citizens needs um oops that was the build tool here 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 I mean, I'm going to need those. Um, I have some... Let me check. Okay, I can need this pickaxe. And I can drop most of this into the warehouse. Yes. And I need another empty rack. Great. So. And then... Yes! The next research finished. Amazing. Um, ah, I wanted to go to the university to get our diamond pickaxes. Our university to our stash. Get our tools. No, tools. Diamond pickaxe with fortune three. This one. And it even has mending and unbreaking. So that's pretty the good pickaxe here okay uh -huh. and i think that is going to be our composter worker then so i'm going to set up the composter quickly araya you just got a new career composter here so what are we going to compost seeds and saplings 
Do we have anything else? Rotten flesh? Do we have anything else we need to... We got a lot of uh, potatoes or carrots. Eh, but those I don't want to compost. Uh, uh, I think it's fine for now. So... Let's go. Down the mines we go. First we have to go to the mine shaft actually. Oops. So there's a nude little path already made. And we can basically run along this. Wow, that's there's some enormous shafts I want back out. I think Lex really did not lie when he said he likes to dig. <laughs> so, and that should also take us to some cave system, probably. I need to get some, uh, yeah, coal ore. Because as a good miner, I forgot the... Gotcha. The torches, yes. So there we also have the first stack of torches. Perfect. Let's see, there's a major group of mobs ahead. That's going to be fun. Let's get to get those together. Yes. Not here. So this here seems like a cave system. And I can hear a lot of mobs. And I'm kind of afraid. And I'm hearing they're on the way. Ah, no, die. Oh, someone was really smart and forgot the arrows. Now I got arrows. So, thanks, skeleton. You just saved my butt. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's light this place here up. Gonna... Don't want to have any surprises. Okay. Get the other direction here. Light this up a bit. Oh. So. Okay. Getting some coal. Always good to have some coal. Oh, nice. Some iron here. So. Glad that the request system got fixed for you. Yes. And in the latest 115 versions, I'm pretty happy how the request system turned out because it got fairly stable now especially if you compare it to the past mine colonies versions where it was just mostly not working at all but it's al always a place where we're definitely going to um, deploy improvements and optimizations in the future like at the moment our delivery went a bit overworked so we have a version already with some testing stuff, but I didn't have the time to put them on the server. But tomorrow we're going to have then again another super new version that's not even on CurseForge yet. 
So, but that version we are playing right now with is also not on Curse Verge, as far as I know. So, okay, here we got water. Surprising quantity of it. And that and great. Swimming upstream is one of my favorite hobbies in Minecraft. Um, let me make some more torches. Ah. Uh, what happened? Oh wow. That's I think not the place I want to go. Okay, here's a lot of water. What what's happening? There's an entire section here that is underwater. Have you ever seen something like this? Uh, okay, this is tough. Oh, solid stand. I was getting seasick already from all the floating around. Okay. Okay, we got a fair amount of mobs here, it seems. Die. Die, zombie, die. And there's more water around. This is a, a weird mine. I'm 100% sure that this is something to do with quark. Especially the limestone around here. Okay. We're getting there. Aren't we almost have a stack of iron already. That's two stacks of iron for the smelter. So that's neat. Okay. More. More iron. So. Um. So. The chat you can see here, <laughs> down here. Is actually Patreon chat that are playing on our tech mine colony server at the moment. And we have those kind of connected together with our official servers through the chat chain mod. I don't think that you can dis disable that. Maybe some mod A's add some ways to disable these things. Ouch. Okay, wow, this water stuff he here is kind of freaking me out a bit. Definitely something I would like to disable the next world generation we do. Why have m Mines that are completely underwater. So, yay, more iron. So, great. Oh. There you go, explode. All this stuff here gets kind of more difficult as well, using shaders. Um, yeah, I gotta get up here again. And I'm totally lost. 
no idea where I am. I had to path through a bunch of these crazy water thingies here. I'm seeing... Oh yeah. Oh, that's why there was so much water. I was really close to the surface. Okay. So I think that is enough now. <laughs> and I'm going to walk back to our colony. I'm tired of running around in caves. And we definitely have enough iron ore to hand to the smelter. Um, I did notice that there was a little bug in the smelter. That when he placed, he or she, placed things into the smeltery oven. Um, sometimes if he smelled like an ore in one oven and a fuel in another oven, they would actually not request uh, the fuel for the ore and would get stuck. And that I fixed in the next version as well, if anyone was experiencing that. So, oh yeah, yeah, back in our colony, almost. Can't believe it. We're almost back. Yes. We have to run around the wall a bit. Can we? Can I do this jump? Nope. Why? Why am I even asking? Okay. There we go. I'm going to bring all of these iron to double to our smeltery. Is our smeltery level 3 already? Mm -hmm. By the way. Yes? Because else it wouldn't double and it would be a pain. So. I'm on the way to the smeltery. Okay. There we go. Is it level 3? Nope, level 2. Okay. So I'm going to put that up in the priority list another time. Here. Okay, smeltery level 3 is then top priority. So that we get that done so we can smell that stuff I got. Um, putting these things here. And torches the builder is going to be happy for too. Okay. Um, here we go. And I gotta get some sleep. So then not too many mobs spawn killing our citizen in the morning. <laughs> That's always a pain. Um, although it reduced a lot with the amount of guards we're having wander around a little bit. Now it's mainly the guards dying of the skeletons. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay, that's to be expected. How my day was. Okay, you need a shovel, I guess. And I need some more sticks. I'm going to get those sticks. Uh-huh, sticks. I already remembered where the sticks are. I guess it's time for another warehouse sort. <laughs> if you remember where the things are, you've not sorted the warehouse in a while. Okay. I need the... Yes, the build system is going to be up most likely um tomorrow and if not tomorrow at least on tuesday so we got a bunch of workers here <laughs> that are complaining about food that they <laughs> cook <laughs> so I'm going to put these things around we're going to check how Chenny and Barnaby are doing. So, Chenny, 
It's waiting for. I'm going to do my best work. I'm going to cancel you. that to get all of them through. I'm going to give you all of them. Here you go. So you finish this and start with the smelter really quick. And then I can check out what Barnaby is up to. Uh, shall I? Yes, I can do it. That was actually close. Um, Barnaby is waiting. Cut sandstone, yes. Citizen 2, great. We need more citizens <laughs> to fill all our positions. They got like 15 open guard positions. <laughs> A guard positions as uh, citizen huts are not so important for but we have still like the combat academy and these kinds of places we want to assign people to yeah. basically our yeah. combat academy would be our um, supply for when someone dies yeah we need like a l combat academy and art and then archery in the future too so we can then assign people to that Um, I'm going to get some planks and logs and I'm going to mo be moving a few walls around uh, around the back of our colony. Just have to find where these planks are. Um, planks. We got a lot of arrows. We got like one, two, yeah, three, oh, four, five and I think a it's from uh, the mob farm I got the dark one. Adds most likely. Some items made the dark room and put a whole bunch of guards inside and that's basically a cheap mob farm. And and guard level farm. And guard level farm at the I same choose. time. <laughs> As far as I've seen, it's like been leveling them up pretty quickly even. Like they're around level 20 right now, which is like an amazing, great level for a guard already. And guards leveling allows them to use higher, better gear and makes them much more useful in terms of strength and speed and these kinds of things. So... Uh, Why jump? is one of our delivery men stuck upstairs at the builder? Is this still up there in the builder? Okay, now he went out again. Hey, I saw him once going up there in the builder and I didn't really get what he was doing out there, to be honest. Okay, I think, so I'm going to continue the wall straight here. And I'm almost going to meet the other wall here behind the library. So I think that's a pretty decent idea to go, yes. So, and I wanted two. And the fire own mummies are not as strong as the as the pirates though. You so you should be happy that you didn't get the pirates if you think that the Mummies are strong already. <laughs> yeah. So, one, two. Oh, they killed it. Yeah. They can be nasty too, though. Um, but usually the guards should be able to fairly decently handle it. Like I saw a guard in my test colony killing like three barbarians. The problem is more when they get teamed up against and then there's like two raiders against one guard. That usually gets them then and that's usually the last we heard from them, hear from them. Ah, here that was fine. Um, yes, I'm going to mine this here way. I'm going to need another big shovel later anyway. So, one, two, 
one, two. So, ah, no. Here. Uh, let me get some of this dirt. Here. One, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, nicely done. Preparing the new ones. That should give us a bunch more area to place a bunch more buildings behind here in the uh, colony. Should probably get another farmer we could plays in the area around here so ouch and then um, let me just clear the class here we can probably maybe place an archery in the area around here as well then and this we're going to have to fill with material. Nope, this not. So. And this here we're going to have to remove. The middle one we can keep because we're going to fill it with dirt anyway. Um, we're going with a three thick wall here. A thick wall here. Because we know that um, our raiders can dig through a wall. So at least three thick to hold them off at least a few minutes is usually a good idea um here we go one two three one two three ouch one two three so and as you can see behind there then we make a little bit of a gap here maybe we can fill that in with water as well later and that will help us a lot uh, magma blocks are also useful but usually since we have guards sometimes we're shooting like ourselves in the leg doing that because then we're killing our own guards with these kinds of things as well but yes, usually putting things like cactus, etc. in the mode definitely helps. Ouch. Oh, Helen grew up. So. And then we need some planks to fill these up. Yeah, guards usually tie since they like have a random path. If if you have them on a specific path to walk around, it's usually not a problem because they usually stay true to their path fairly decently. But if you have them on a lazy random pathing, um, usually they will fall in your moat. And we can hear it's a desert raid. So I'm going to run there quickly. Okay, I made the jump. And I have to run to the other end to the colony to defend against the desert raiders. And our desert music is starting. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Get to bed quickly. Do do. So I hope you people can enjoy our amazing desert radio music as well. I usually one to one. 
for each guard um, a citizen. It's the um, ratio we have planned. Did you find him? Not yet. Southwest. West is here. Southwest here. Oh, I can see them on the map. They're moving up. Oh. They're trying to make it over the mountain. So some Adams is... We are getting raided right now, yes. So, let's see how the guards are doing, right? Ouch! was killed <laughs> and it seems our guard are making a decent job <laughs> most of them a better job than I did at not dying <laughs> I was close to dying as well yeah the, the fire is actually horrible it's uh... yeah. how many guards did we lose three <clears throat> basically the souls who went in first? The Pharaoh has one hundred forty one. Oops. So our guards did it, I would say. Oh, yeah, nice. Epic. Look at this. I got the Pharaoh Scepter. Oh. That's nice because it's infinite arrows. I think. Yes. And infinite so fire arrows. Infinity even. and... Maybe. And fire. Yeah. If you're enchanted. And I'm noticing it is not um, decaying either. Oh. So that I have to fix. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit too overpowered. It's okay. yeah. Oh, I thought it was you trying to enter here, but it's Max C. Gray because he has a full pirate armor. Yeah, I was confused by the, the thing as well. I always thinking it was you, but somehow not. <laughs> okay. Come, Max. You can do it. I know you can do it, Max. <laughs> He's trying to swim <laughs> inside here. I can recall him. At yeah, recall him better. You, by the way, kept it open here. Just saying. I'm going to close it. So, and I definitely have to decree. I'm going to add this to my list already. Um, damage Pharaoh Scepter. Because that's a bit too overpowered. Having infinite yeah. er, infinity and it's a, a very rare drop that you can't repair without mending. So that's definitely like a trade-off. But having on top of it like infinite durability is a bit 
too overpowered. That was not intended. So. Let me drop my... The chunk I got here. Into the warehouse again. Not in this one. Here. Got an almost empty one. So. Then I can go back to my wall construction project in the back I've been working on. So. Um, if you're enjoying our streams, um, do not forget to follow us because it helps us and the entire project. Um, if you're really enjoying Mind Colonies, consider becoming a Patreon. Uh, we really appreciate that help and we use the money to pay for our servers and all these kinds of things we have set up. Um, we also have a Twitter you can follow and you can join us on Discord as well where we offer most of our direct support. So, I think that's fine. So, closing here, and then we can close the other side of the wall as well. Three. There we go. I know it's not a Picasso wall, but I think it is fairly efficient at holding the raiders off. And that was uh, matters the most in the end. But in this direction we get mostly barbarian raids, which are not as vicious. Yet. <laughs> yeah. Especially in hard mode, we might want to increase the difficulty of barbarians, maybe. Some more dirt with me? Nope. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the. Oh, I didn't know. What is this here? That is an. Ah, uh, it's an alternative entrance to the university. I didn't know that. Okay. Ah, I remember there was something here I wanted. Ah, here, yes. 64. Would I want to spend all my iron ore on that? Yeah, no, maybe. Anything else? I'm going to bring here the redstone though to increase the block block, block break speed and the seeds. That one is definitely I'm going to do. So seeds and redstone I'm going to bring here to the university to increase our block break speed and improve our farmer a bit. So, seeds and redstone. Seeds and redstone. Do not get distracted. Seeds and redstone. Did Jessica already start with our... Uh, Jennifer, I mean. Sorry, Jenny. It's not Jessica, it's Jennifer. Um, seeds. There are pirates, yes. And pirates are currently still the most vicious attacker. Although those you only get if you are next to a re reasonably sized vessel of water. Here. One, two of those. And now redstone. 
I hope they didn't look into redstone yet. Sometimes I have a little bit of one track mind. Especially when streaming. So. Doesn't see like I saw redstone already in those. So at least it's not my fault. Okay. So upstairs probably. Bows, we got a lot of them. A lot of saddles. But no, not here. So maybe in one of these smaller ones here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Four stacks. Yeah, the small pirate boats are pretty easy. The pirates get only vicious usually for bigger colony sizes, like above 10 citizens. Oh, that sounds bad as well. I guess you don't have walls or anything to protect your citizens from an intrusion. Because that is basically essential to fend off. Like we placed uh, those walls here as well after we lost a lot of citizens. I'm not sure, I think it was that pirate raid that killed so many citizens. That Nah, we had walls already in that moment. It was a previous raid that killed also a lot of citizens that had me set up all the walls around the colony. Okay, it was all in technology, I think. Right Increase away. the farming. And the block break speed. 25% is pretty neat. No. There was a back entrance. Yes, there. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to fill it with dirt. That's the cheapest filling material. And I'm going to put the bench more um, planks on top. Uh, the other side here. And then planks on top. And then I need fences. Make and definitely have to make sure that I do not fall down here on that side in the ravine. Getting better, do you see? No ravine in this episode yet. <laughs> not going, not trying to jinx it. So let me get a crafting table. Um, bunch more of these. And then I want fences. And I want some stairs too. There we go. Um, some slabs here. And now the fences. To finish this off. Great. Done. And then we said done. So
placing in those areas here, flattening it out a little bit. There we go. So, and then down here. Probably want to fill this entire area in here as well. So every time we got close to these places, I'm super afraid of falling down this ravine. I'm back first, especially I noticed I think some lava going around one of these ravines here. Ravines, ravines. Um, yes, that's looking good, ouch, ouch, die, nasty little skeleton, okay, and not to forget, um, a few more of those here. Okay, I'm gonna place the torches on top. I need to run to this side. Yeah, that would be the perfect lava death that I want to avoid. So, great. And where's this here? Going to place this under here. It's always good to have some scattered around the colony. Um, I need to fill up this a little bit. Great. Um. Probably want to cut down the trees already. And then you can think about what I actually want for this place in particular. So, there we go. So we don't have our lumberjack walk all the way here. Minecraft makes you see what capitalism <laughs> does. Deforestation, <laughs> gigantic holds. A perfect mirror of reality. Destruction. I did think already about making a CO2 mod. <laughs> That would be interesting. Having to certify uh, the landscapes when you cut down f forests and areas and put too many animals in them. I think that would be a funny idea for a mod, definitely. I think I do want to take down this wall here, though, don't I? Yeah, that one is kind of in the way. So I'm a bit too lazy today to do that. I'm going to need some shovel. And I have to store some of these blocks here. So I have enough space. Um, at least like 20, yes. And then 18. So that's 9. I can make one 3x3 three three shovel. So a closer. Oh, that's nice. And I've never checked into that, that completely. That's definitely something I would in the future someday 
like to mix with man colonies a little bit. Kind of like effects of pollution on the rivers, etc., around your colony. You have to integrate it nicely with the environment and not destroy the environment in the colony creation process. That would be a pretty neat in mod interaction, I do think. Someone sh should tip them off to make a mine colonies integration of that mod. So I don't have to do it. <laughs> um, what happened? Lag, probably. Some addons? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Not weird. Sure. Okay, now it's... Yeah, I'm had a lag spike. So I have been fighting today. I mean, I have already some like plans in the future to one day have mine colonies. Like one day, not now, not so soon. But actually, have not only require citizens to eat, but also have them require to drink, and then having like things to guarantee water quality and these kinds of things else citizens get sick more easily so i think there are a lot of things we can do there which would be pretty amazing integrations with these kinds of pollution mods as well yeah and health insurance and that kind of stuff too like it, then we require them not only to eat and drink but they will also need a bathroom and if you don't have a facility, <laughs> a water cleaning facility, they're going to pollute the rivers and going to get sick. Yeah, good I, idea. I definitely love that. I definitely love that. And I know that Wizzy would like have a rage talk for two hours straight against me <laughs> for implementing <laughs> it. <laughs> definitely. He would, yes. I would d still love it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, those could be more like add-on mods in the future to make that more optional. <laughs> Although I wouldn't have a problem with eating and going to the bathroom, these kinds of things, but the pollution things would have to be pretty simple in the default mod to not turn our default players off. Yeah. And always like the more complex the mod gets, it's always always like a trade off. Um I think it's some leave decay mod we have. Um and yes like it's always a very difficult trade-off like we added the research system to the mod and especially a lot of new players are confused by it because it's adds something like some additional complexity to the mod which was not there before but so we always have to be careful to make sure that new things do not get too difficult for new players But yeah, in general, I think we've been doing a halfway decent job with it. Like, Mine Colonies is as difficult for new players as not new players. <laughs> but, uh, just kidding, but yes. Some things we're still missing are things like documentations, etc. Making things in-game more logical for players. That's thing things we always have are thinking about on how we can improve these things. And yes, we know that like making a wiki, wiki and an in-game book is a, a way to do it. But classically, you should learn by playing a game as well. Like, I've never had to read a book on how to play Anno or Age of Empires. Sometimes you have to go to some websites to find out 
how to really optimize certain processes. I think that's some always fine in Reddit threads and these kinds of things. But the default colony things should be obvious for the player. So. So. Okay, great. So we got a whole new area here around behind our colony for new workers. I would probably even close this ravine here in the next episode or so. So that there's no me falling down risk and allows us to play place workers over the ravine most likely. So like this. I can just close this quickly, right? But yes. We have we're having regularly uh, discussions about this in our developer chats as well on new features and how to design them and how to make sure that they're obvious to the player. So we are concerned with that. But since we also know that a lot of things are still in the adjustment phase, etc., we are also not too concerned yet about it, to be honest. Because a lot of things still need to be finished and it's not worth to think about perfecting things before they're actually finished, implement, implemented. I want this here, yes. I would be a pain losing this shocker box. I already lost one. So yes. So. And you're going to notice that a lot of gaps and difficulties you're having are going to close with the time with improved implementations, these kinds of things. Like some add-ons also say that he's in the new future going to rework some of the guard mechanics and going to... Because guards are actually really strong, but sometimes they get a bit stuck in what they are trying to do and then they die easily. So a lot of these things you're experiencing difficulties with are going to be fixed some way in the future as well, in that way. So... Okay. Even though John said I not, should not close, it, remove those walls, the desert walls I'm definitely going to let, even if increasing them. But uh, these wall segments were pretty ugly, and are I need to remove them for the space here. So. There we go. Um, today you guys are not as chatty in the in the chat I'm noticing though. As in the last two episodes. So So Okay, that's is there anything in the tree? Okay. Anything in this tree? Yes. <laughs> Banner. <laughs> to upgrade the hospital. So. Um, yes, this area seems to be pretty perfect to place another few buildings. Even maybe fit like an archery behind here. We're going to see. But definitely a farmer could fit in this area here. But there are definitely a bunch of things we can do in this new area we earned, we gained here. And further grow our already increasing colony. So. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> yeah. So. I think we can wrap it's getting late here. We're already streaming for over an hour and a half. Um, so we wrap up this episode. Our colony is still growing further. We clicked upgrade on a bunch more buildings and finished a bunch of upgrades. You can see here the two level five guard towers, for example. Um, our colony is growing stronger and bigger. And we're only afraid of a <laughs> next pirate attack to decimate again. But hopefully we have now enough strong guards to at least decrease this impact a whole, li a whole bit. Ouch. Um, I didn't fall down a ravine today, but I think that tree height almost counts as a ravine already. So I'd say I see you guys most likely tomorrow. Glad that you tuned in. Don't forget to follow if you enjoy it. And if you didn't enjoy, you can also follow. We don't discriminate it, anyone. Um, and yes, see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.